Welcome to the series on a real world project with WordPress and BuddyPress. This is the first of two videos where I explain the backend setup and code behind of this middle column or the body of the profile page. So let's get started. Welcome back to the members profile. On the last video, we covered this area right here, the side column and how these data fields are coming from BuddyPress custom profile fields and how we are displaying them. In For the next few videos, I'll be covering this middle section, how all these are coded out. Specifically on this one, I will focus on this area right here. This is specifically uh, coming from BuddyPress and let's go quickly look at how this is being generated like always, uh, let's first check which template this part is coming from, which is index type athlete. So let's go there. Okay, we're back at the code and here it is index type athlete. And in case you're joining for the first time, let's go look at what the location is. This is the uh, teams folder, team name, and then body press members single and right here index type athlete and uh, in the last video this is the part we talked about the left info box section which is this block right here so in this one we're gonna go ahead and uh, minimize this and go to the next block which is center column starts here this is the center column at the very beginning here I am checking for the user whether he's logged in or not and this user ID I collected from the body press and this is the current user so we're making sure that the current user is the specific body press user so that that this specific item shows up only for that specific person so basically what this uh, function does is this brings in the edit menu including the default body press template parts where they show this stuff on you know their own way but I had nothing to do with that because I, I needed to customize everything my own way so what I had to do is just keep this part and with CSS make the other stuff vanish the default you know body press stuff vanish completely but only this one I had to keep for our purposes so and then went ahead and create the rest of it right and before I go any farther down let me first uh, go over the functionality of this part basically uh, last time we saw how we bring in all these custom fields right so let's go back to the WordPress backend to understand better so here we went uh, our athlete Brent Summers and extended profile and in the extended profile we found all these uh, custom fields right and to create them we had to go under user and profile fields and this is where all the fields are set up and their permissions are set right that being said this was not the main purpose of these fields the main purpose of these fields are to to display them right here when you and you know click on edit this is uh, all those tabs you saw this is where they actually show up when the user or member is logged in bodypress gives them an you know a way to add or edit their own information for example, all this stuff here, we saw that before that members bio section had all this info, right? So if I click on members bio, here we find all the information, gender, date of birth, country, height, weight, all that. And this is where they show up. So this is the main purpose of having those custom fields and controlling them by user roles. As we saw here under members bio, all these items are here, but look, this is for 
athlete coaches and subscriber but height and weight is for athlete and subscribers so when i'm opening this up here if this is a, a coach's profile then its height and weight will not show up so that's pretty much how uh, all these items are laid out and one extra thing uh, a little bit more complicated thing i have to show is that when i click on sports stat you will see that uh, there are some common ones uh, like these items they will show for all sports but there are some that are like handicapped national ranking swing hand etc these are related to golf only so these stuff let's say if Brent Summer was a football player he would have a different set of fields showing up here. So that became a little bit more uh, complicated to pull off. And I had to use a plugin for that. And this is the plugin uh, I'm talking about, conditional profile fields for body press. So with this one, uh, I actually got some condition to apply when I show my fields in the front end. So let's go back to where they are since I'm talking about sports stats here this sports stats block right here right this is where the specific custom fields are showing up which are attached to certain specific sports so let's go see so right here these are common fields every uh, athlete no matter what sports they are from they would have these but then as you can see i have separate uh, fields for football i have soccer i have rowing so on and so forth i am dealing with about 19 sports uh, sporting events here and uh, the one our member here brent summer is using is golf so this is where i am setting them up and what that plug plugin does is, let's say if I go to edit, this gives me this block right here, the visibility conditions. And when I declare all my choices here, like this should be about golf handicaps, right? So these are their numbers uh, that was given to me by client. And once I created this one, this shows up as a drop down box. I had to choose golf right here and I could do that because of that plugin and because of that in the front end since Brent Summer is a golf player he has golf related fields right here swing hand national ranking WAGR handicap etc see this is the drop down data you saw also uh, I did a little bit of UI thing here because see if this is open uh, all the way uh, it's hard to see what's going on in the uh, underneath I mean you have to scroll too much so I gave it a um, button here so that if you click on it it makes the edit stuff disappear so you quickly get back to seeing what you have here and then if you want to go back to it click on it you get to see the edit window again so that's about it for this section and uh, in the next video we will see how uh, these blocks were done see you there thanks for watching if you like this video please smash the like button and the subscribe button this will help me bring more free contents like this to you every week thanks again